Hello guys, this is Teacher Ricky of Trimix Colleges and we are in our series on how to appreciate art. This channel is to help anyone and everyone who wants to know about art. We'll break it down, give you tools to help you appreciate all forms of art. In and in this vlog, we will be talking about light, shape, and space. Now the element of space refers to an area within, above, below, an object or an objects. It is important to create and understand both two-dimensional and three-dimensional works of art. Now a good example of the use of the element of space is by Grant Woods. The title of the painting is Fall Plowing made in 1931, Iowa, USA. This is an oil on canvas measuring 64 by 85 centimeters. If you notice, uh, Grant Wood surrounds the plow by the f with fields, trees, hills, and its surrounding. So the plow is being emphasized in this painting. Now the fourth element is shape. There are two kinds of shapes. There is geometric and organic. Shape is a two-dimensional area that is defined by the change in values or some other form of contrast. Now, a good example of this uh, use of shape is by Francis Campbell Bolel Sidel. The title of the work is Blue Fan. It is made in Scotland. 1922 it's an oil on canvas and the dimensions are 35.6 centimeters by 28 centimeters now he uses a mix of shapes in the painting to emphasize the blue fan now the fifth element is light the use of light in art is important to support the ideas of an artwork strong lighting creates strong highlights and shadows it enhances the physical forms of the object. It creates ambiance, drama of the artwork. A good example of this artwork is by Caravaggio. The title of the work is The Calling of Saint Matthew. It is an oil on canvas. Uh, the size of the work is 30, 322 centimeters by 340 centimeters. Now the artist uses light and highlights to emphasize the faces of the apostles. Now in summary, the different elements, these are tools used by the artist to tell his or her story. We need to be familiar with these elements to understand how it is used. Now they are like ingredients to make a delicious dish. Words, sentences, and paragraphs to make a moving book. Steps, choreography, music, and costumes in a compelling dance. All these elements put together help us understand what artists are trying to say. Like and share if this video has helped you in any way. Please hit that notification button so that you'd be updated with new videos that I have posted. Now also comment below if you want me to discuss uh, art ideas that you want to learn uh, and I will uh, make them for you now uh, don't forget help support this channel and i hope to see you in my next vlog bye bye guys